We meet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Communion this morning. Today we are celebrating the festival of Peter and Paul, the apostles. So we are remembering Peter and Paul this morning. Peter has often been called the Prince of the Apostles because of the words of Jesus renaming him from Simon to, how do you say that? Kephas. This was from the Aramaic form of the Greek word Peter, which of course means rock. <clears throat> Jesus said that on this rock he would build his church. But both Peter and Paul came to be seen as having different roles to play within the leadership of the church. Peter in witnessing to the Lordship of Christ and Paul in developing, developing an understanding of its meaning for Christ's followers. Peter and Paul have been remembered jointly on this day since the very early days of the church it being regarded as the anniversary of their martyrdom in Rome in about the year 64. It seems possible that there was a year 64 and here we are 2020. <clears throat> so today we remember Peter and Paul. Just a reminder that all are welcome to come and receive communion and if you would rather have a blessing please do come forward and that there is coffee served afterwards in the hall. Let's be quiet and still before we begin. We pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you stand and we'll say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen.
and our collect for today for Peter and Paul, the Apostles. Almighty God, whose blessed Apostles Peter and Paul glorified you in their death as in their life, grant that your Church, inspired by their teaching and example, and made one by your Spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Please do be seated for our first reading. The reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12. <clears throat> About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. When he had seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. While Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him saying, get up quickly and the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realise that what was happening in the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. This is the word of the Lord. And Thanks be to God. To God. The Gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 16. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus came to the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist. Others, Elijah and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. 
And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon of Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we so often take everything for granted, all that we have, all that is provided for us. Turn on a tap and we have fresh water. We flick a switch and we have a light. Heavenly Father, help us to appreciate so much that we have been given. Thank you for all that you have provided for us in this beautiful world that we call home. Lord, help us to take care of this planet. Each of us may seem insignificant with our recycling, switching off appliances when we're not using them. But Lord, help us to see that every little thing that we do helps to care for this planet that you have given for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray today for all places across your world where there are difficulties. is fighting, disagreement, fear, and hunger. And Lord, we pray that you will speak into the hearts of all those in positions of power to strive for peace, for reconciliation. Father, we think of our own community here, where there are places of conflict and hurt, where there are difficulties, where there is hunger, where people are struggling to pay their bills, to feed their families. Lord, help us to seek out those in need, 
Help us to offer the help that is needed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for your church. We especially pray for those places where Christians are persecuted, where Christians have to meet and worship in secret. For their worship of you is restricted by others. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the freedom that we have. We are free to worship you here in this place, as many who have gone before us have done so. And Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you for all that is good in this community and in this church. We pray for all those who work hard for the running of this place, for your glory. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will raise up people to fill various vacancies, jobs that we have here in the church. We are in need of people, Lord, to do certain things. We know you have a plan for this place. Lord, may we hear your voice, hear your word, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we do pray for our schools at this time. We pray for all the staff who are tired as they come towards the end of this school year. We pray for all those young people who are taking exams pray for those who have finished and now have the wait for their results. Father, strengthen all those who work within our schools. Be with all who need them. Guide them to do what is right for each and every child. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we think now of all those who are unwell, those who are suffering with pain, discomfort, those who are finding life difficult because of illness or disability. Lord, we pray that you will wrap them all in your loving arms. They will feel your presence and trust in your promise to relieve their suffering and to heal. Lord, we pray especially for those named on our pew sheet for those who have left prayers within the church. Lord, you know them all by name. You know what they need. Father, we pray for those 
who are in our nursing and rest homes locally. <coughs> Especially, Lord, we pray for all those in Bailey House, Old Oldsford Cottage, Makin's Court. Father, we bring before you today those who are in their own homes, alone, who rarely see others. Lord, we pray that they can know you, that they can be comforted by your presence and know that they are loved and precious. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all who have died recently, and all those whom we have loved but see no longer. Lord, when those that we love leave us, they leave a hole and we miss them. Lord, be with all who mourn. Help them to live their lives. Help them to hold on to their loss. But let them continue to live. Help us all, Lord. And we really miss those that are not around us. May we enjoy the memories, celebrate the good times and know that we will meet our loved ones again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we bring ourselves before you today. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given and continue to give to each one of us. Lord, help us to remember that everything we have comes from you. And Lord, help us to live our lives to the full, to follow the path that you have for each one of us, for each stage of our life. And Lord, help us to know that we are loved by you. May we proclaim your gospel in all that we think, say, and do. And may we strive always to love each other. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels, and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From then you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends. And taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation, may they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last, with all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Almighty God, who on the day of Pentecost sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles with the wind from heaven and in tongues of flame, filling them with joy and boldness to preach the gospel by the power of the same Spirit, strengthen us to witness to your truth and to draw everyone to the fire of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Would you please stand and we'll share the peace. God has called us to live in peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <clears throat> to observe the sharing of the peace. I can't tell you how lovely it is. <clears throat> My final blessing for us today. May the Father's hand keep you from stub stumbling. The footprints of Jesus give you confidence to follow. And the fire of the Spirit keep you warm and safe in your walk with God this day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love today and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.